Hey, I'm Andrea Jarrett, and I was a violinist in the YouTube Symphony Orchestra in 2009, and I've been asked to make a video about how my life has been since the experience of the YouTube Symphony. Um, when I first got to New York for the YouTube Symphony in May of 2009, I had just made my decision on where I would be going to college, and I had decided to go to Juilliard. And it was a pretty cool experience because the the YouTube Orchestra rehearsed in Juilliard before we went to the concert in Carnegie Hall. And it was um, a kind of preview of what school would be like uh, a few months later. You know, we were rehearsing in the big orchestra rehearsal space and eating in the cafeteria and kind of getting to know the school. And so it got me really psyched to come to school later that year. Um, I'm now in my second year of undergraduate studies here at Juilliard. I study with David Chan, who is the concertmaster of the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, incredible violinist, and a great teacher. Uh, we've, I've really enjoyed working with him, and I think that I've made a lot of progress since I got here two years ago, well, a year and a little bit ago. Um, and. I've really enjoyed my time at school. Uh, all the classes are really well structured is the thing that hits me the most. Like, I know I'm going to walk out of Juilliard knowing a whole lot about music. I'm going to be such a well-rounded musician, you know. We've got ear training classes, music theory classes, music history class. I even have to take piano class. Um, and so it's just eat, sleep, breathe music, which is incredible for me, uh, being 19 years old, basically living the dream, going to school here, and uh, living in New York City, which took a little while to adjust to. Um, I come from a small suburban town in Michigan, so when I got here a year and a little bit ago, it was a kind of a culture shock just because it was so chaotic and stuff. But I've learned to really, you know, love New York City and, you know, know how to maneuver it. It's really easy, actually. Um, and living in Lincoln Center, I mean, Juilliard is right in Lincoln Center and I live in the dorms. So, I mean, any day of the week, I could just, you know, go up, find the list of programs for that day in Lincoln Center. I could go to any performance any day, and that is a wonderful feeling um, for a classical musician. Like, what better place to live than Lincoln Center? Um, you know, I, I didn't really have that opportunity at home. Like, there were there were concerts and stuff, but not as frequent. And you know, you get the best of the best in Lincoln Center. So I really enjoyed that part of New York City. Um, I've had some really great orchestra experiences at Juilliard. Uh, I actually got to work with Michael Tilson Thomas again in my first orchestra concert at Juilliard. We were playing Mahler's Das Lied von der Erde, the Songs of the Earth, and Michael Tilson Thomas came in to do for, as a guest conductor. And we played in Carnegie Hall, uh, so it was like YouTube 2.0, I guess. Um, so that was, it's always a joy working with Michael Tilson Thomas, so that was a really great first concert at Juilliard experience. Um, I've performed uh, Heldenleben, I did that last year. Um, this year I'll be doing Mahler 9 with Alan Gilbert, which I'm totally excited about. Um, that's going to be in uh, March. So if anyone's in New York City, uh, we'll be performing at Avery Fisher Hall. Maybe I'll put it up on my YouTube channel or something. But yeah, that's going to be an incredible concert. Um, I've gotten a lot of, I guess, attention because I was in the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. Like, I often find myself in conversations with people and somehow the YouTube Symphony will be brought up and I'll say, oh, hey, you know, I was in that. And people are always super impressed, you know. The YouTube Symphony got a ton of publicity, so a lot of people know about it. And when they hear that I was in it, they're 
totally into that. Um, and I'm really glad that I did it. It was an incredible experience, and the whole concept still is so cool to me. Like putting together an orchestra over the internet and having people from all over the world come to one place and putting together an amazing concert full of really difficult repertoire in about three days. You know, it's it's great what what YouTube Symphony did. And I'm so excited that they're having another generation, I guess, of YouTube in Sydney. Uh, Australia, that is incredible. I mean, Carnegie Hall was great, but I can't believe Sydney Opera House. That's so amazing. So I'm going to be definitely recommending it to all of my friends, all the people watching this. If you're a musician, you should definitely audition. You know, what do you have to lose? And <laughs> yeah, um, so audition. Um, so in conclusion, since I'm not so great at speaking. Um, I had a really great time in the YouTube Symphony. Would highly recommend it to everyone. Uh, having a great time here at Juilliard, learning a lot, practicing hard, trying to be the best musician I can possibly be, and just living the dream. So all you get out there, practice your parts and audition. Good luck to everyone, and thanks for watching. See ya.